Now, I've been reading this book. Um, I'm not going to show it to you because it has a picture of a penis in it. Two, actually, so you know it's from a classical antiquity era. And that, of course, is self-explanatory. However, there was something about slave theory and advantages of, and disadvantages of slavery that I never thought about before. And that, of course, is that in ancient times, slavery was this disadvantage in the sense that you couldn't reproduce with slaves. That is, if slaves are fucking and reproducing, um, where are you going to have those new kids who are probably going to be slaves themselves? What are you going to do with them? I mean, that takes a lot of years to micromanage, and it's very inefficient. So, what are you going to do with that? And when populations are increasing... Just like the Roman Republic was increasing, and slave population was obviously either staying the same or not growing fast enough. Maybe even declining. What do you think is going to happen there? The biggest mode of labor, the biggest factor of production in terms of labor, slavery, in the Roman Republic wasn't growing fast enough for the growing population of that empire. Which brings me to an issue of this inflationary economy. Now, during the 1980s, an early part of it, the population was nearing 5 billion, but it was in the late 4 billion. Here in 2012, we're at 7 billion. So yeah, this is the world at 7 billion. And we're in an inflationary economy. Which is the closest to wage slavery will ever get. In fact, you can even argue that that's the best way to describe it. Because if you're in a career you don't like, and you don't have options, then it's only going to get worse from there on because the money that you have and save is going to mean less in the future. And when I think about this, it really puts me in a sense of dread because well when populations are growing this much and I think a lot of it is to thank for developing nations since developing nations are you know breeding a lot more but regardless that shit is growing this population is growing, but in terms of wealth, because of this inflationary economy, we still have the slave system. Now, while the slaves could breed and we have enough labor to offset this, dare I call it, um, population growth. We don't have the wealth to do it because when we try to build the wealth, the time value of money decreases and when that happens, we're at this position where because of the inflation, because of an inflationary economy and the fact that what you have, a dollar may be worth less 10 years from now. It's really to this point where I can basically say that this wage slavery system, which is created by an inflation, isn't really catching up with our population growth. 
and it's a tragedy, really. So this has been me, Mr. Wonka7. I've been thinking about doing this video for a while, and I hope you like it. Yeah. And suck my dick.